Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our homeschool webinar. My name is Everett Bayarski. I'm the Academic Services Director here at Colby Academy. I oversee um, our advising department and our customer service representatives, as well as our asynchronous instructors who work with the homeschool program. Um, let's go ahead and get started with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thine intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly into thee, O Virgin of Virgin, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. St. Maximilian Colby, pray for us. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. We have uh, people come to us to uh, to come to homeschooling for a variety of, of reasons, um, but the some of the biggest reasons are the desire to to be able to serve as the primary educator of their children, uh, to be able to to work on providing a customized education for their children, to have the flexibility and scheduling to meet uh, family or student needs, um, and, and a good number of people come to homeschooling because of students who have a specific special needs. That are not able to receive the you know kind of the attention support that are, they may be receiving in another environment. Um, we believe very strongly in that message of the parent as the primary educator uh, of their their child, and it's one that goes back to the very early days, the founding of Colby Academy, and is central to everything that we do. Uh, really, at the core of of our homeschool program is the idea that that you can do this and we can help. Um, the The requirements to successfully homeschool are fairly minimal. Uh, you need to have a desire to be a part of your student's education, that you want to be a part of their life, you want to participate in their education, and a willingness to learn and grow throughout the process. Um, pretty much every person who's ever come to us uh, and for the homeschool program has had um, has had some sort of notion that they're not sure that they can do this, they, they can, don't know that they can homeschool. Um, uh, every one of our advisors, as we've talked to them, uh, as well as doing through the interview process, you know, it's stated that at one point or another, they had concerns about whether or not they could they could do the homeschooling. And that's been one of the beautiful opportunities that we've had over the years is to to be able to help uh, parents through that process to be, to be able to support you um, in uh, in homeschooling your children, whatever that looks like for your family. Um, one of the, you know, as uh, as we are kind of uh, coming into the pandemic there with with schools not reopening, we we went through, we gained about a thousand students in six weeks. Um, a large number of them were families who never intended to homeschool, uh, who had never planned on homeschool, but as a result of circumstances found themselves homeschooling. And one of the beautiful things was we heard feedback over the course of the year of that, that rather than returning to schools, they planned to continue homeschooling because they enjoyed uh the opportunity to be really be a part of their student's education. They enjoyed the ability for that, that additional family time and relationships that were able to come out of homeschooling. So if you're coming to us and thinking you're not sure you can homeschool, you don't know if you can do this, um, uh, you can, uh, and we can help you with it. We can help you through the entire process. We do have a few different enrollment options that are available um, uh, to you for, for homeschooling. The uh, if you choose to enroll in one of our full-time programs, that means you're choosing to uh, make Colby Academy your school of record, uh, because Colby Academy is a, a, an accredited school. Uh, there are a number of benefits that come with that enrollment. You will receive a family advisor, which we're going to talk about. Uh, all of your homeschool course plans are included uh, as a part of that enrollment, with full record keeping for your students. Uh, um, again, as with us being your school of record, we have a diploma program with diplomas in both uh, eighth grade and high school. Uh, the full-time standard program uh, also includes a book credit, uh, particularly helpful for those of you, if any of you are new to homeschooling, you, you don't currently have you know, a good uh, supply of books, the book credit is built into that, uh, which provides a bit of a discount um, you know, on, 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 in comparison to, say, buying all the books and doing the, the enrollment separately. Um, so those are great options. If you're coming to us, uh, you don't want to, uh, Colby Academy to be your school record, we do offer part-time enrollment options as well. Um, on those, you will you'll enroll uh, for specific courses, register for specific courses. Colby Academy will not be your school of record, but we will provide records for those courses you enroll with us, and we'll, then we'll be able to provide those records to uh, whoever you'd like us to provide them to. Um, so those are available to you. One of the, the, the best features of our advising program, one of the key benefits, is our family advising model. During the 2022-2023 school year, Colby Academy transitioned to a family advising model. Each family has a dedicated advisor assigned to support them throughout their homeschooling journey. Our goal is to provide someone who will be able to get to know your family and your family's needs so that they can provide ongoing support over the years you spend with Colby Academy. 
Your advisor can help you with questions about our different programs, enrollment options, and course selection. They can provide advice on transitioning to homeschooling, working with multiple students, and trying to create a balanced schedule. And when it comes time to look at college and career planning, your advisor will be available for that as well. One of the key features of uh, Colby Academy and our homeschool program is the, the ability to customize your child's education. Um, and the, one of the most important things your advisors are going to do uh, in that process is partner with you on that customization. They'll work with you to determine which program or programs will work uh, best uh, for the needs of your children, uh, which specific courses will be the right fits depending on your students' abilities, their learning styles, academic interests and goals. Uh, and then working with you to decide if you'd like to substitute other grade level appropriate curriculum. One uh, unique feature for Colby Academy is the ability to, to make those substitutions. That if you have a program, maybe if you've already been homeschooling before and planning to enroll with Colby for the first time, and you there's a specific course that has worked well for your family, um, or if you're maybe attending a local co-op and they're using a, a curriculum that we don't use, as long as that material is grade level appropriate and meets our standards, we are able to approve it as a substitution for you. Um, so there will be opportunities um, to, to do so. Um, I just see uh, there's a brief question there in chat, um, a question about filing a PSA, that's a, a, a private school affidavit. That's usually a question specific to California. Uh, Colby is based out of the state of California. Uh, within the state of California, we are a private school um, and we file our own private school affidavit. So if you are homeschooling in the state of California, you do not need to file your own private school affidavit. You'll be covered under ours. It's a great question. Um, additionally, brand new this year, we have a new student support services program. Uh, if you're looking for any additional services for your homeschooling student uh, above and beyond uh, some of the, the course support and, and other things, um, we have a new program this year. For full information on this program, I, I hope you'll join our student support manager, Mrs. Allgood, at the webinar immediately following this one. However, we do want you to know that we now have available uh, accountability mentoring, professional tutoring, and content labs in addition to our existing homeroom program, uh, our existing homeroom program, uh, any of which can be added to our homeschool program. Uh, for students who have special needs, we've also expanded our services, offering the opportunity to enroll in our special education uh, program, to receive a consultation and a formal student accommodation plan developed um, by our uh, experts for your homeschooling student. Uh, if you do not need a the full consultation and you don't need that formal accommodation plan, you can continue to work with your advisor on customizing the curriculum to best meet your students' needs without enrolling in the formal special um, uh, special education services program. Uh, if you have additional questions on that, again, uh, please feel free and join us for the webinar right after this. Uh, we have a, a brand new program that we're very excited about um, be able to provide some additional support to you. Included with your full-time online uh, or full-time homeschool or full-time flex enrollments um, are all course plans needed for your students. Uh, these are a pair of sample course plans, in this case for, for our second grade program. Uh, we have uh, the math program there on the left and the English program on the right. Um, as you can see that each of these provides a brief overview of the week at the top, followed by day-by-day -day instructions as well as assignments. Our course plans are daily in grades one through eight, uh, and they are weekly in kindergarten and in high school. Course plans are di available digitally through the parent portal with your enrollment, or you can choose to add on paper course plans uh, on the enrollment form. Uh, if at any point uh, in time you change your mind about which courses you'd like to be doing, if you want to either remove courses or add courses, we do have a, a form available on our website called the course change request form, which you will be able to fill out uh, and we can make the modifications for you. Um, after you've enrolled with us, you'll begin by accessing your, your course plans, and you'll also have access to our welcome packet and link. You can find the link right there. It's also linked from the course description in the parent portal. Um, on the welcome packet, you'll find uh, our reporting documents, the grade submission form and checklist, as well as an attendance record. Uh, the attendance record is only required of our students in the state of California, but is available for anyone who would like to, to choose to utilize that form. Uh, also on the welcome packet page, you'll find uh, our links to our parent and student handbook, which contains all our policies and procedures, as well as our program support guide, which contains advice and recommendations on how best to use our program. I also strongly recommend that the Help Center on our website, which is filled with articles that have been written by our advising staff to cover a wide range of topics. One of the, the things that we've really been intentional about over the last several years is working to uh, continue to provide additional opportunities to interact with our larger community. 
Um, we have, uh, and these are available to not only to, the, to the, the online program, but also the homeschool program. We have a number of clubs that are available. Um, the full list is far too long for me to read, but we have a spiritual life club and a newsletter club. We have art history clubs. We have foreign language clubs. We have a philosophy club. Uh, we have uh, photography and creative writing and coding and chess, um, baking, uh, Legos. So a wide variety of clubs are available um, that you can choose to uh, enroll your student in uh, as long as you're fully enrolled in our program. Um, we also have an, an annual Advent and Christmas concert and an annual Colby's Got Talent performance that are available by audition. We have an annual called the Holiness Retreat, which is done in the spring every year. Um, uh, focused on a specific theme. This past year's theme was focused on evangelization. We had a number of phenomenal speakers, um, Jackie Angel and Monsignor Shea and Leila, Leila Briscoe Sargent, among others. Um, really just a wonderful opportunity and really essential to our mission of continuing to form students um, so they grow in holiness. We have, a, we have a, a college fair that we do every year featuring colleges from, from the Newman Guide who come and give presentations on their programs. We do have an annual commencement ceremony uh, for, for graduation where you can either attend uh, live and in person. Uh, it's been in the Atlanta area the past several years, um, or you can attend uh, virtually. Uh, either way, you can be a part of that ceremony. We're looking forward to um, the upcoming one here at the end of May. We also offer uh, parent Facebook groups. So if you're looking to build a community with other Colby parents, um, there are uh, Facebook groups based on the grade level of your students so that you can be involved in kind of with the graduating class of whatever uh, student is. We also offer something called parent support meetings, brand new this fall. Um, and this, these are offered by our advisors. This is a list of a uh, sampling of the topics that we offered this past fall. Uh, and you can expect similar sessions to be available throughout the school year. These sessions are an opportunity to interact with, with Colby advisors and our staff, uh, as well as your fellow parents. So they discuss various aspects of, of homeschooling, of the opportunity to, to learn from each other and to build community with our other families. Uh, we hope that you'll, you'll join us to share what works for your family um, for each of these topics and, and support other Colby families as well. The, uh, if you're enrolled in our full-time uh, program, the record keeping is included as a part of that. To submit grades to us, we provide a grade submission form, which is found on the welcome packet. It includes a checklist of the requirements. Uh, it must include parent recommended grades for each of the reporting periods. Um, it does have, give an opportunity to uh, include courses such as PE, music, and art, which are pass-fail as non-academics. Now, uh, your sample portfolio that goes along with the grade submission form uh, needs to include at least two written and graded samples per subject per semester, uh, or one per quarter in grades K through five, um, as well as the attendance record if you are um, in the state of California, um, and you can include it optionally if you're in other places. We do have a, a digital means of submitting those. You can scan them in and submit them to us um, to the appropriate email address, and those will be reviewed by our asynchronous instructors, um, which will then get them uh, added to your students' permanent records. Uh, I do see a question there. Uh, the main benefits of doing the full-time standard or the full-time flex, um, what are the, the benefits? Uh, you're right, the, and uh, the, there are three benefits uh, in of the, the full-time standard over the full-time flex. Um, the first of them is the book credit. Um, the second of them is we offer a discount on our self-paced program. Uh, our self-paced program includes um, recorded classes and, uh, and, and is done in a digital environment. It still functions as homeschooling because it's asynchronous in nature that you as the parent will be um, guiding the students throughout the course, but it includes recordings um, and is built into our learning management platform. And so there's a discount on that program uh, if you choose to do the full-time standard instead of the full-time flex. Um, and then there's also a uh, brand new this year, we're offering um, five uh, graded samples uh, are included for free uh, with that full-time standard program, uh, which, is for, which is called our Homeschool Plus program. It's a grading service and feedback service that's available. Um, and so that's a new benefit to the full-time standard this year. Uh, great question. Thank you for that, uh, Mrs. Scroggins. Uh, when you get to high school, we do have a, a pair of, of tracks available to you. Um, we have a recommended track, which is designed as college preparatory track with the goal of meeting admissions requirements of most four-year universities. Um, it offers a high level of flexibility uh, and students can opt to follow our curriculum or to um, substitute um, uh, other courses that meet our requirements. Um, if for whatever reason, uh, the recommended track isn't the right track for you, we do have minimum graduation requirements, uh, which will fulfill the minimum requirements to earn a diploma with Colby Academy. The, we have a number of, as you're going through our curriculum, as you, you know, we are a classical program, uh, classically focused. 
Uh, at the upper levels in high school, we have a, uh, a curriculum that is focused on the Greek books uh, with uh, Greek history and literature uh, in ninth grade, as well as uh, sacred scriptures. Uh, and then in 10th grade, we move to Roman literature and Roman history and early church history, um, you know, following the death of Christ up to the Edict of Milan, the legalization of Christianity. 11th grade is our uh, medieval and European year. Um, so we are doing um, uh, literature and history as well as church history too. And then uh, the 12th grade is our U.S. and modern year. So we'll have U.S. Um, history as well as uh, modern era literature and church history three are available. Um, we do have a wide variety of, of course, offerings available in math and science, uh, academically rigorous um, and well-focused. Uh, and then at the lower levels, we're, our goal is to be preparing your students for those upper levels. So we have a, an excellent language arts program, uh, including a, a, a books kind of classic uh, good books program with a uh, focus on reading excellent literature. Um, all throughout, uh, a lot of work on, on composition and on grammar, um, as well as, again, that, that full and rigorous uh, math and science program uh, to take you all the way up. So a wide variety of options available uh, to you. If you're interested in some more details on curriculum, you can go. You can uh, join us uh, for our, our upcoming um, advisor session, um, which will be uh, coming up after the, the student support um, uh, webinar. Um, you can also go ahead and we are, have a, um, a homeschool webinar coming up here as well in a couple of weeks, um, which will include, a, a, it's a, in addition to some of this information, we'll have a more lengthy uh, dive into some of the curriculum that we use at different grade levels, opportunity for you to ask questions. Um, uh, additionally, if you have any further questions for us, um, you can contact us by any time in email, advisors at colby.org, or uh, after you're enrolled, you can directly contact your assigned advisor. We have a chat feature on our website, uh, colby.org. You can use the chat button at the bottom of the right, um, or feel free to make an appointment. With you. If you're not yet enrolled, you can make an appointment with our admission staff, and they can answer questions for you. And then after you're enrolled, you'd be able to make an appointment with your assigned advisor. You can also give us a call, speak to our customer service uh, representatives who can answer your initial questions and get additional resources for you as needed. Uh, let's see, there's a question. Does the program include philosophy uh, for ch children in grades K through three? We don't have a formal philosophy program at the, the younger levels. Um, and really that's that's kind of intentional. Philosophy um, builds on, um, there's, there's really some prerequisites for study. Uh, you know, in the classical model, uh, traditionally philosophy would be done after the study of the trivium and the quadrivium. Uh, the trivium being grammar, logic, and rhetoric, and the quadrivium um, being uh, kind of the math, math and sciences. It, uh, it, it was your uh, geometry and astronomy and arithmetic and music. Uh, and typically, all of those be studied first before you get into any sort of formal study of philosophy, um, just so you can really lay the groundwork, the understanding of um, the order of the world, ordered thinking, uh, and so forth. We do have philosophy available as courses in our upper school and high school. Um, it is integrated into our study of, of literature and history throughout all four years. We also have a standalone philosophy course um, that's available as an elective in high school. Uh, we also have a world religions course that's taught specifically from the perspective, uh, from a Catholic perspective, available as an elective in, um, in our high school. So all of those are available at upper levels, um, but we don't do, we wouldn't uh, include a formal study of philosophy at lower levels because we're still working through, um, you know, the basics of your, your, your language arts, particularly you're focusing on your grammar and your reading um, and, and doing you know, early studies of, of science to understand the, uh, the order uh, of creation uh, that we've been presented with. We've got a couple minutes left here, um, but really wanted the opportunity if people have any further questions about uh, the curriculum, about the homeschool program, um, you can get those into the, um, the Q&A pod there. I'd be happy to answer them for you. Um, otherwise, we still have, we have some parents who are available in the parent room right now, if you'd like to speak to, to parents about their experiences using Colby. Um, and we'll also have the advisors coming up here in about 40 minutes that you can um, have detailed questions with them as well. But I'm happy to make myself available to you for the next few minutes as we work on wrapping this up. Um, so one of the questions, is the pricing on the website a monthly rate per child? Uh, it isn't. So the, the pricing on the, the website uh, that you're likely looking at um, is a, a tuition rate that is uh, it's an annual tuition rate. So for the homeschool program, uh, the homeschool program is designed to be very affordable, uh, that we want it to be something that's going to work well for you and for your family. Um, the, the homeschool program, you can choose between, again, either the full-time standard or the full-time flex uh, options. And here, let me go back to that slide for you so you have them. Oops, there it is. 
Um, so that we have the full-time standard and the full-time flex options are the, the two uh, common options that are used. Um, for students uh, in high school, um, that you're, you're, if your oldest student is in high school, uh, on the full-time standard, that would be $999, uh, which includes a, um, a $600 bookstore credit. Um, on the, uh, at the six through eight level, it's a little bit cheaper, 979. One through five is a little cheaper at 769. It, it includes some adjusted bookstore credits at different levels there. Um, and so those are, are for an oldest student. There are discounts for additional students as well. Um, we also have the full-time flex, which doesn't include that, um, doesn't include the book credit, um, and doesn't have the, the discounts on, say, the self based program. Um, but for there, the base pricing on enrollment is 489 for uh, a high school student, if, if high school student's your oldest, um, and additional students come in at a bit of a discount. So if you had uh, a second student also in high school, it'd be 409 for the additional student. Um, and all of uh, that pricing does include the, these uh, advising and support services that are available to you. And the only support services that aren't included by default with the, this tuition is if you're looking for those additional um, student support services that are specialized, like the that special education services program, um, or you want the, the professional tutoring or the accountability services. Um, those would be the only things that have any additional pricing attached to them. But we've intentionally tried to keep our homeschool program very affordable uh, you know, as much as possible. Uh, another question, can ESA money be used towards Colby? Um, depending on, on the states that you live in, you may or may not know what ESA is, their educational scholarship accounts. Um, sometimes some states might might have a similar program called a voucher program. Uh, and the question is if you can use that money towards Colby. Uh, the answer depends on each individual state. Every state has different laws and regulations on them. And this, uh, this spring and this summer have been explosive in the passing of new laws and new regulations on those working to expand opportunities. Um, so the, there are several states where we uh, ESA money can be used towards Colby. Um, Arizona, New Hampshire are, are two off the top of my head that I know that we, we are able to, to work with. Um, there are several more states that have passed new laws about this that uh, we're working on getting some clarification on exactly what the terms of those are. Um, I know Iowa has one, Missouri has one, um, uh, Arkansas has one, uh, Oklahoma has one. Um, all of those are brand new laws that have passed. Um, most of them are so new that they're still trying to work out the exact guidelines of how they work. Um, I anticipate being able to, to partner with them in some fashion, uh, most likely. Uh, it'll depend on exactly how they structure their programs. Some places may have limitations if they don't allow you to um, say do uh, our theology don't allow you to use your money for uh, our theology course specifically, um, but would allow you to use it for other course offerings, or would allow you to use it for general tuition or for textbooks that aren't religious in nature. Um, so there is some variation um, you know, going on uh, there as far as how that will work. Um, Florida is another one. They just passed some new laws that that are going to make it a little bit easier to use money. We're still working on getting some research on on how that works. But our goal is to, and as much as possible, where the states are um, have programs that will support homeschooling families, we do hope to be able to partner with those states uh, to allow families to use those funds um, wherever possible, uh, you know, under state laws, state guidelines. Uh, there's a question about the preschool tuition. So I hope that many of you may have come from the, our, our preschool uh, presentation before this. Uh, so our preschool program is uh, it, again very affordable. Uh, it is a it's, it falls under our full time standard um, because it comes with a bookstore credit. Um, the preschool program is two hundred eighty nine dollars, um, and it includes a two hundred fifty dollar book credit. Um, so it is so two eighty nine with that two hundred fifty dollar credit. So functionally, it's it's kind of thirty nine dollars for the program plus the the book credit that's included. Um, so the the homeschool program is is uh, very affordable. Um, it's been designed to to, to be so. Um, there are the additional costs uh, if you want to be doing the, the, the live labs, the online labs that, that we're also offering. There's an additional cost for those that you'd have to pay for the live labs. Um, but the homeschool program, the homeschool portion of the preschool program is, uh, again, 289 So it's $39 plus the $250 book um, credit. Um, so uh, absolutely. Let me see a couple more questions here going through. Um, the uh, question about in Arizona, uh, how the, the, the money is paid to us. So uh, typically what happens is the money is, um, is sent from them to us. Um, but if you are going to be participating in an ESA program, that's something that you can let us know um, uh, as you're going through the enrollment process. Um, you know, it's, I know sometimes you can do reimbursements, uh, but certainly you can do, you could do the basic student enrollment, you know, upfront uh, to cover that. And then additional monies could be used. 
Um, but I'd say, uh, go ahead and give us, if you have some questions about how that is going to work specifically to your situation, um, give our admissions office a call and we'll work with you on, on getting that figured out, how it will work for your specific state um, on, on reimbursement and other options. Um, we definitely have ability to, to partner with you on that. Um, usually what we do is we'd have you sign up for a payment plan and then we just delay those payments until we receive those funds so that the funds could then be applied to your account. Fantastic. Well, we've just got a couple of minutes left. Again, if you have any questions, feel free and hop on. Otherwise, I'd love to give you a, 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 just a little bit of space before we head over to that student services um, uh, webinar. I hope you'll join us there for that new program if you have any interest. In Again, this is something that we're really excited in. Many Catholic schools um, you are not able to provide uh, some of these supports just due to funding issues. It's very challenging to do so. Um, so we've been we've tried to be intentional about uh, working to to see what needs are out there for our homeschooling families and how we might be able to help meet them. Um, let's see here. Uh, are the lab fees included with the full time tuition? So lab fees are not included with our full time tuition for the the homeschool program. So either the full time standard, or the full time flex. If you're taking advantage of the the full time online program, uh, depending on which courses you select, lab fees may be included. It'll, it'll depend on kind of your course selections. Um, so that'll depend on on kind of which of the programs you're doing and how you're structuring it. Uh, in the homeschool program on full-time standard, full-time flex lab, these are not included. Those would be something that you'd add on if you want to take part in our labs, uh, but labs are not required. Uh, book and curriculum per, uh, purchasing is an addition to the enrollment price, correct? That is right, exactly. So in the um, in the full-time standard, full-time flex uh, programs, book uh, curriculum is an addition to the, to the tuition. That's why our full-time standard has that book credit built in. So the full-time standard has a book credit of, of $600 or $550, um, depending on your different levels, there, there are different um, information included there. Uh, and that can be found on our tuition page. I'll paste that there into the chat so you can um, you can link to it. And it'll tell you exactly what credit is included with the, the full-time standard model. Um, but it's designed to, to provide that to help you in that, in that, um, that process. Um, and you have access to our bookstore. Our bookstore it has uh, all of our books um, new. We also have many books used. Uh, you know, parents will sell their books back to us. So we have some used books that may be available to you if you'd like to save some money um, as well. So there are definitely some options there. Uh, also included on that full-time standard, actually when you enroll, uh, we'll send you a, a, a draft order of the books that we recommend you purchase for it. So you'll be able to take a look at that and really can make your shopping easy. You can say, you know, yes, I want all of those books, or you can let us know that maybe there are a couple of books on that list that you already own and we can remove for you. Um, so that's one more thing that we've done to, to try and make that process easy for you, especially again, that full-time standard program is really designed for people who might be new to Colby or new to homeschooling. Um, you know, you want some, some additional help and kind of working through getting started. Uh, our book department is excellent and it's always happy to talk with you as well. Um, Okay, well, we are at the end of time here. Um, let's see here, let's wrap up one last question. Uh, submitting attendance and grades when applying to the school. So uh, when you apply to, to Colby to, to come in and you enroll with us, the if you're in high school, we'll, we will ask for a, a copy of a transcript. So you know, if you're new to us in 10th, 11th, or 12th grade, we'll, we'll, we'd like to have a transcript from previous schools so we can transfer those credits in. Um, if you are not transferring to us in high school, if you're new to us in another grade and you would like to provide your cumulative records, we are happy to keep those on file for you as a part of our permanent records, but you're not required to do so. If you'd like to continue to keep those records at your home, you can do that as well. We do have assessment tests that are available for you to help in, um, in assessing your students and making decisions about which courses to take, uh, but we don't require the use of assessment tests um, in the homeschool program. Uh, they're simply there to provide additional support. Um, as you're discussing with your advisor which courses you'd like to do. So you can let us know on all of those things. So thank you for joining us uh, today. We appreciate the, the time. Again, if you have any uh, other questions, we're going to have our advisors are going to be uh, have a we'll be having an open session starting about half an hour. Um, or you can uh, take a look and, and reach out to us again on our website, um, through the email program, uh, through email, um, through chat, really whatever um, works well for you. Uh, to get in touch with us. Are there limited spots for grade? The homeschool program has no limits on grades. We do not cap enrollment homeschool program at all. There are caps in the online program just because those are live courses. Uh, so there are a certain number of seats per course, um, but there are no caps in the homeschool program. Um, we are always happy to have as many homeschoolers who would like to join us um, as, as are welcome. So we'd love to have you. So thank you for joining us today.